going on everybody i'm here to give you guys a review for married to medicine as y'all can see i don't have anything covering my head because i finally got a haircut my hair is actually longer than this it's just back down because you know we're do rag to sleep so yeah um <clears throat> so this is episode no i'm sorry season five episode four black girl magic or black girl tragic so we start off with jackie and uh she says since uh the cheating she's been working more which typically with a lot of people when going through something they throw themselves into an activity or do something to kind of forget about it so hers is work i know the feeling because i do that shit sometimes too one of her patients is asking her questions about her life i don't know if she did this because the cameras was there or what but jackie was saying that you know this has been happening a lot i just don't like the fact that shit was on camera Tony and eugene have a picnic date i don't give a fuck Quad and Greg, Quad brings up the whole no cheating factor thing, and it seemed to me that she was picking a fight with him, because my thing is kind of less sleeping dogs lie, and if you know your man's not cheating, then I don't really see the whatever. He even asks like, and after the blow up, he even asks her, "How did we get there?" And it's pretty much, and he pretty much said to her, "Stop." bring up like stop inviting jackie and curtis's issues into our marriage because it ain't got shit to do with us and she says to him that she feels that he doesn't appreciate her and he's like well i've been taking care of you since the day i met you <clears throat> and in essence that did kind of seem like he was throwing it in her face but i kind of get what he was trying to say because i mean especially in the old school cause he did talk a lot about old school ways and whatnot what with a lot of old school a man's job is to take care and provide but they get into it he gets bad he peels off and that's it <clears throat> like i said i mean i'm not gonna go too much into that because she picked a fight with him which is almost like didn't need to happen i don't know if i don't fuck it. i mean i will mention that she did feed him dinner something that she's going to include in her book so positive <laughs> uh simona cecil another pick of the fight so she says to him that he saves his bad side mean streak for her and i don't well one because she calls him a politician now with a lot of people we all have that duality where yeah we're going to save face when we're around people but I don't think that he is as bad as she paints him to be. You know what I'm saying? And it's almost like she wants everybody to villainize him. Because I swear, I think that she's planning that great escape. I think she's planning the whole we're getting divorced type thing. So when it happens, <clears throat> all the women will crowd around her. But I don't think that she's going to get that because everybody likes Cecil. And, you know, he even says that we don't spend time together. And he's trying to explain this. And she cuts him off. And when I say he bucked the fuck up, dropped the base on her, she wasn't ready. She, and all the times that we've seen them get into it on camera, it's always been her drowning him out. The look on her face. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought I heard something. Like the look on her face, she wasn't ready because it's almost just like, oh fuck, I've awakened the sleeping bees. Like, I think he had finally had enough of her bullshit, you know. And um, it's one of those where they are in essence saying the same as I think. She even says, when I come in, like you know, the last time I came in, you know, you had the TV on, the laptop, you didn't even close the laptop or whatever. I don't like I'm not like I said we're not there I'm not there so I don't know but he even says to her you know we don't spend time together a simple solution is get rid of the houses get rid of one of the houses or even keep one of the houses but they just move in with each other but I'm gonna say this if Dr. Eugene is willing to travel four hours to make paper to save his marriage Simone should be willing to drive further to get to work to save hers not to say cecil 
cannot make any accommodations because he definitely can't. If it takes him and their youngest moving into the other place, but a compromise has to be met. But I will say this, Cecil got <laughs> Simone off his ass, though. So Jackie and Simone meet up. All that I'm going to mention from that is uh, Dr. Simone wants to have a girl's trip to New Orleans to recharge. Simone and Cecil. So we have Simone packing in her house. Cecil stops by because he had to pick up something, sees her packing, and, you know, he's not happy about it. Mind you, he ain't. I think he was slightly passive aggressive, but it was just like, you know what, I'm going to just hold it in. But he's just like, yeah, this ain't cool. And she was like, well, what about the golfing trips when, you know, I have to head through the grapevine and all this other stuff? One thing that I will say is it seems with Dr. Simone that even though she may have valid reasonings and excuses, it seems that rather than just hear her man out and just accept ownership of some of the shit, She's quick to be like, okay, well, well, what about this? Or what about what you do? And in any relationship, whether it be friendships, marriages, whatever, yes, we do have to take accountability for what the fuck we do and understand that there's only one person we can change in any given situation, ourselves. So for both of them, I challenge both of them to, if some shit ain't working, change yourself and change the variables that you can to see if that should have worked. But I was watching Sashawn Bradley's live about this and he made a good point that um they're already living in two separate houses so they're damn near separated which that could be it so then you got so they're in um Orleans. they uh have two suites the micro suite and the lucifer suite now dr heavily don't want to be in a lucifer suite i would have a fucking suite is a suite i'm gonna say this i mean if you got the if you got the spirit of god on you you can go any fucking way and you can be good i'm just saying so they all have drinks. I believe it was either later on in the day or the very next day. And Toya had been drinking. Okay, she'd been drinking. So and you can tell that she she had the liquor in her. And she decides to ask Jackie, what's the difference between my man Master P and your man Chino? You and everybody at the table just like, really? Did you really just say that? And we all know the difference. Your man not stepping out on you. Your man is still there. So, let me see. Jackie had asked her, like, is this making you vulnerable to cheat? Because I've already said that Toya is kind of laying that foundation so she can step out to cheat. You know, literally, it's set in the bed, and I'm happy that somebody else then said it. And she was like, "Well, it does make me a bit vulnerable because you know, I look over there like, mm, he looked cute, all this other shit." So then, Toya, damn it, Sean is on doing the households. Let me hurry up and finish this because I'm done anyway. So Qua, so Toya asked Qua, "Is she getting any?" And Qua doesn't want to share. And you know, Toya's like, "Well, I'm not gonna share anymore." And I feel quiet on that one. You don't have to sit here and disclose all the intimate inner work of your relationship. Plus, I mean, Toya was the same one that sat here and talked about, you know, Mariah's cheering and shit. So, it is what it is. So, Toya and Quad, no, 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 no. Toya and Heavenly talk about the whole messy comment. And she's like, well, you are messy. But they apologize. They squash it. It's over. So, that's my review. I'm going to go ahead and watch Sean's Households. And I'm going to come back with mine. I have my notes for it. But I'm going to watch his, watch his live. So, that's all I got. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see you guys later. Peace.